Good morning, Flagler Beach. I hope you're doing well. I hope you had a great weekend. This morning, I want to share a passage with you from the book of Exodus, and it's one that some of you may be familiar with. It's from Exodus chapter 3, verse 1. Now Moses was pasturing the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian, and he led the flock to the west side of the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a blazing fire from the midst of a bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush was burning with fire, yet the bush was not consumed. So Moses said, I must turn aside now and see this marvelous sight, while the bush is not burned up. When the Lord saw that he turned aside to look, God called to him from the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, Here I am. Then he said, Do not come near here. Remove your sandals from your feet, for the place on which you are standing is holy ground. Amen and amen. You know, this was Moses' first encounter with God. God had been silent for hundreds of years as far as the Hebrew people were concerned, but now he called Moses to him, and he did so through a bush that was on fire but wasn't being burned up. And Moses was an 80-year-old man, and he went to see, what is this? And God called to him by name, Moses, Moses. Now, he also told him to take off his sandals because Moses was standing on holy ground because he was in the presence of the Almighty God. But I want to draw your attention to the fact that God called Moses by name. Even though he'd never spoken to him, God still knew exactly who Moses was. He knew his past. He knew his present. And he even knew his future. And yet God called him anyway. When you think about God this next week, don't think about God in terms of someone who's a long ways off. Remember, God is right here. God is a personal God. He's a holy God, but he's also a personal God, and he knows you by name. And he loves you, and he's calling you to him anyway. Would you be open to him? Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you for calling to us. Just like you did Moses, Father, you're calling us by name. Father, help us to respond to you, Father. Lord, help us to follow you. Father, we love you. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me. I hope you have a blessed day. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the devotional this morning. If you think somebody else might get a blessing out of it, feel free to share. If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe. But at any rate, I hope you have a good day.